You survived the storm first and foremost. How are you? Do you have water? Do you have what you need? I have water and we do have running water um, to do clean up and everything, but yeah, I'm still recovering from the shock of everything. It was devastating. I never experienced anything like that in my life. So. You watched the water from your house right there just get higher and higher. Yeah, I saw a storm surge come from this road and also from my parking lot from two directions, three foot high wave, the first wave, and then I was in the house and I looking out the door window and I just watched the water raise up just five foot deep in my downstairs. I sat in my stairway because I was afraid to go upstairs. I thought the roof was going to blow off and I couldn't go downstairs and I just sat there for four hours in terror. I can't imagine. I'm so grateful you're okay. Thank God for that. Now, we just witnessed something kind of amazing. Tell our viewers what just happened. What? The storm? Oh, the gentleman that came by and just... Uh... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he came by and they're offering money. He came from the east side and he gave me an envelope. I think it has $50 and I said, go get some food. and. I thanked, thanked him and praised the Lord. Now if I could find somewhere to go get some food. <laughs> That's the thing, well, the yeah, there's no power anywhere. Yeah. And I did see the Tallahassee Fire Department here. They're doing search and rescues right now as we speak. They've been here since the day after the storm. How are your friends? How are your family? They're all good. They were worried because I was sending them some pictures prior to the actual storm hitting and the last one was out my bedroom window with the water was eight feet deep and, and then that was the last picture that my phone went dead so they were very concerned and but i finally was able to contact them and they're all happy well, you're more than welcome to charge your phone in our truck. We're going to be here for another hour at least. Well, I thank you so much for your time. Anything else in your heart? Anything else you want to say? Any thank, thank God for sparing me. <laughs> Must be something else playing for me. <laughs> thank God for that. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Joel, and best of luck to you. Go bring your phone and come charge it in our truck. Thank we'll be here till 10. So, um... These are the beautiful people that we are meeting, and as you mentioned, the death toll is climbing. The situation is so serious, but people are doing the best they can, and they have just the best attitude after having lost everything. And it's really inspiring, and it's really incredible, Melissa. Oh, Melissa, just to hear about somebody, you know, hand delivering an envelope and giving him money, that is so, so special and, and heartwarming. Now, I have to ask, did Joel say where he's from and how long he's been here? before going through the storm. Yeah, jo yeah, Joel is from Massachusetts. He has been in Florida two years. Michigan, I'm sorry, I'm a little tired. <laughs> You've been here two years, Joel? Yeah. He's been here two years and yeah, they told him it would be fun. But so it's fun was... until it's not fun. It's fun until the hurricane comes. <laughs> yeah, he was used to the snowstorms and unfortunately just experienced a hurricane. Masa, thank you so very much. And we'll check in with you in just a little bit.